This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 10.1. You can find this problem in the ECE 202 ebook in the Chapter 10 Supplemental Problems on page 1. Let's take an example from ECE 201. In particular, this is Supplemental Problem 7.1, which consisted of a 20 volt battery, a 6K and a 4K resistor, a 2 microfarad capacitor, and a single pole single throw switch that opens at t equals 0. In that problem, we solve for the capacitor current and the current in the 4K resistor. Let's do the same problem now, but using the Laplace transforms. In our chapter 10 notes, we had a five-step algorithm, so let's do those five steps. First one is to find the initial conditions for our reactive component, which is the capacitor in this case. If the switch is in this position for a long time, then the capacitor looks like an open circuit for a DC input. In other words, I is equal to C dV dt. If the voltage isn't changing, then the current is equal to zero. So treat it as an open circuit. So the voltage across the capacitor is the voltage across the 4K resistor, and since the 6K current is the same as the 4K resistor current, we can use a voltage divider. That would be 4K, over 6K plus 4K times 20, and that turned out to be 8 volts. Step two is to transform the circuit into the S domain. With the switch open, we're going to disconnect the battery and the resistor to the left, and we've got the capacitor and the resistor. In chapter 10, on page 3, we had a model for the capacitor with the initial condition, and that was an impedance of 1 over SC, so that would be 1 over a micro, which is a million, divided by 2 is 500K, divided by S, and our initial condition is expressed as a step function, so 8 volts divided by S. Step three is to solve for our variables in our S domain circuit. I'm going to solve for the current in this 4K resistor. I could do that by taking this voltage and dividing by the total impedance. Currents would flow in this direction out of the voltage source and absorbed by the two elements. So that'd be the voltage, 8 divided by S, and then the total impedance would be 500K over S plus 4K. Multiply numerator and denominator by S, so I get 8 over 500K plus 4K S. Pull out the 4K and I get an S times 1. And then 500K divided by 4K, the Ks cancel, I get 500 over 4, which is 125. Lastly, I have the 8K divided by the 4K, my expression in S for the current in the 4K resistor. Now, the current in the capacitor is just in the opposite direction as shown here, so it's just going to be the negative of I sub C. Now, step 4 is to express this as a partial fraction expansion. We already have it in that form, so we can skip step 4 and just go to step 5 and look up the answer in our Laplace transform table in chapter 9. We've got a scalar here of 2 milli and 1 over s plus alpha is e to the minus alpha t. Let's write the 125 as a time constant, so 1 over 125, it turns out to be 8 milliseconds. So the resistor current is 2 milli times e to the minus t over tau, where tau is equal to 8 milliseconds. Where in five time constants, this term will drop by 99%. And I multiply this by u of t, and it units are amps. The capacitor current is just a negative of the resistor current, so it's a minus 2 milli times e to the minus t over 8 milliseconds, u of t, and units are amps. These are the same results we had in Supplemental Problem 7.1 in ECE 201. And this is Supplemental Problem 10.1.